Today I've come and fished at the fantastic Rookery Waters near Cambridge. Now this is the first time I've actually been to this site. It's a fantastic fishery. It's full of carp and it's, it's a big match water. It's a match water that's used regularly. Even today, a midweek match, there's 40 anglers here fishing. On site, there's a tackle shop here down at Rookery Waters and also a cafeteria. I had a brilliant breakfast this morning. We brought the cameras here to look at the new muggler floats. These are floats for fishing out at distance, mainly with pellets. They're very similar to our mini mugglers, but of course when the fish are out at distance, then you're looking to fish with bigger floats, and this is where your mugglers come in. Your mini mugglers are 7.5mm in diameter, where your mugglers are 10mm, a much bigger float. These range from 3 gram up to 6 gram, so there's four different sizes of float. There's a 3 gram, a 4 gram, a 5 and also a 6 gram. Your muggler floats are used with 8 and 10 mil pellets when you're firing them out to the full distance of the catapult. And often, especially with 11 mil pellets, even a 6 gram float's necessary to reach the distance of the pellets. I've used lots of different types of pellet type wagglers. And our floats are made from a precision molded special polymer. So they're very, very difficult to destroy and they'll last for long periods, even when casting up to a thousand times in a session. They're also more buoyant for the size and also they're less prone to line damage. The line can't damage the float in any way. They really are durable floats for this type of fishing. The rig and how I've set up today were very, very simple. Whether I'm using the mini mugglers when the fish you can cast to each individual fish to catch them, or using the, the bigger mugglers, then I set them up in the same way every time. All I've done, I've used an O18 main line. This is a four pound line. It helps to cast a long distance using slightly lighter lines. And today, of course, we've had a big crosswind as well, which has made life a little bit more difficult than what I'd have liked. I've put on two float stops onto the main line and followed that by one of our waggler weights then the float, then another waggler weight, and two more stops. So that fixes your float in place. I can then set that to any depth that I want. Down below that, I've just had a swivel. The hook length's been a 30 centimeter hook length. I want this to fall very naturally with either an eight or even an 11 mil pellet on. And I fished with just an O16 suplex fluorocarbon hook length and a size 16 B911 Teflon hook. The bait I've banded, I've got on a banded hair rig. And of course, what I've already told you is casting regular has been the main thing today. And this is one reason why I always build a swivel into this, this rig because when you're constantly winding back and recasting, you don't want that hook bait spinning up the line. Now the depth that I've caught it today has been around about probably a metre deep, maybe just a little over a metre, but nearly every fish has come off the splash of the float. 
Of course, when you've got a fully loaded float, that float will dive deeper than when you've got shot on the line. And this can spook fish away from that shallower area that you're trying to catch it. Of course, when you've got the waggler weights on either side of a, an unloaded float, the float doesn't dive. It plops into the water and immediately sets on the surface. So you're fishing straight away. There's one thing what is a certain fact when you've got the waggler weights on the line locked around the float. You can cast eight to 10 meters further than what you can with a fully loaded float. This is something I don't quite understand, but mark my word, that distance is easily achievable when you've got weights on the line. Although I had a great breakfast down here at Rookery Waters this morning, I think I should have had Weetabix because these fish pull like you wouldn't believe. I don't know what Alex Bates feeds these carp on. They proper pull your arm off, mostly commons, and I think commons do probably fight a bit harder than mirrors, but it has been a little bit of fun playing them. One thing that I can't stress enough when you're fishing like this, just keep the pellets going in all the time. Not many, just six or seven pellets. Copy the setup that I've used today. You'll catch loads of fish and have some fantastic fishing, just like I've had today down at Rookery Waters.